Hey guys, uh, today I've got two uh, things for you. First is a quick announcement about some uh, sounds I'm giving away. Um, basically, uh, they're on the website sound-guru.com. It's a collection of bass sounds, um, bass preset sounds for Logic, and they come in the form of channel strips. So you get um, basically like a preset for one of the uh, Logic's native synthesizers, a lot of them are the ES2. And then you also get sort of a strip of, cha of uh, effects applied to that to create a certain sound. And you can tweak those however you like. Uh, they're up on a voluntary payment basis, so you can pay whatever you like for them, basically. And um, it's kind of a thank you, really, because it's been two years since I've been doing these YouTube tutorials uh, on and off. Sometimes I've posted frequently, sometimes not so frequently. I'm trying to do it a lot more often now. And uh, since then, I've had uh, over 250,000 views on the YouTube channel, which is uh, mind-blowing. It's awesome. And um, in particular, I've had over 100,000 views on my video on how to make dirty dubstep bass lines in Logic. So as a celebration, I thought I'd release some uh, bass sounds for you guys to play with. Um, let's have a look then at some of the uh, techniques, or one particular technique I've used for some of those sounds. Uh, there's quite a few dubstep sounds in there, as well as some sort of dance, techno, uh, minimal sounds as well. Um, but let's have a look at this technique I used on the dubstep bass lines. Basically, in the ES2, uh, when you're making your wobbles, I found that the LFO2, which is the synced LFO in uh, the ES2, the one you use to wobble your cutoff, is quite unreliable. It's not very good for automation, it seems to lose its place, it doesn't re-trigger very well, it often goes out of time and it's generally quite um, unpredictable when you're automating it. So what I found is that it's better um, to uh, leave the sound unfiltered in the ES2 and actually use the auto filter plugin in Logic to do the filter modulation for you. What this plugin is, is it's basically a filter up here and it's got some nice features like it's got 6, 12, 18 and 24 pole uh, low pass filter it's got a fatness control, some nice resonance, and it's also got some good distortion. I think I actually prefer the distortion on this to the one on the ES2. Um, it's got two ways to modulate that cutoff. First is an envelope, so basically it monitors the sound as it comes in, and it generates an envelope based on it, so you could do it that way. I've got that turned all the way down, because what I'm using is the LFO section down here. And it works a lot like the ES2's uh, synced LFO except for a few really useful things. First of all, I found it's more stable when you're automating it. So if you want to change... Sorry, uh, that was the sound of someone downloading the uh, synth sounds. Great. <laughs> um, uh, if you want to change the um, rate of your wobble uh, through automation, I found this is much more stable. And secondly, it's got this really useful feature, um, phase. Basically, what that means is it changes the... Uh, relation of the peaks of the wave, the LFO, to the beats. So if I've got quarter note rate set, um, I can have it so that the peaks of that wave sync up exactly with the beats, like on the beat, on the every quarter beat. But I can also use this phase to put the peaks elsewhere, so I can have them in between the um, beats, for example, or somewhere in the middle. And what this allows me to do is, it allows me to get loads more groove out of my wobbles. It allows me to, um, basically to make them, uh, to change the relationship they have to the drum beats. And that gives you a lot more opportunity for rhythmic um, effects that sort of, that move a bit better. You don't have that option on the ES2's sync LFO. So I found this is really useful for dubstep wobbles, and I've started to use it really, instead of the ES2's um, LFO. What it also allows you to do is, it means you can modulate certain uh, parameters of um, the ES2 rhythmically with this LFO. So for example, I could, um, I could modulate the FM intensity of oscillator 1 by selecting oscillator 1 wave and then modulating it with LFO 2. And now the intensity of that frequency modulation will be uh, wobbled at a rate of 16th notes, while the cutoff will be wobbled at a rate of quarter notes. 
So you almost get like a wobble within a wobble, like a multi-wobble. And I found it's really useful for dubstep bass lines. So um, that's my quick tip for today. And um, I'll just play you some of the sounds that come in the pack. Um, this is a sort of collection of um, dubstep sounds which have been put into a sort of demo track. Um, you actually get two Logic project files with the um, with the download over at soundguru.com. And uh, this is one of them. This is the dubstep one. There's also one for sort of dancey, techno, house, uh, minimal style stuff as well. So uh, you'll get this Logic project file when you download it. So um, let's listen to those sounds. So there's the sounds you get. You also get a few of these effect sounds. I threw these in for fun. Um, like they're mostly based on a sort of uh, retro video game style, style vibe. So you get this one that sounds like your spaceship's been shot down in Space Invaders. You get this, which I think uh, sounds a bit like a manga um, character being hit with a sword. Um, so uh, head over to sound-guru.com to download those now. And if you like them, and if you want to know more about Synthesis, then consider buying the ES2 tutorials, which are on the same website. Thanks very much for your time, guys. And uh, I hope I look forward to your comments, basically. See ya. <laughs>